फिनॉल कोफिशियंट और रीडल वॉक अ मेथड इट इज़ दी मेजर ऑफ डिस इन्फेक्टिंग पावर ऑफ अ जर्मिसाइडल सोल्यूशन इन इन रिलेशन टू द फिनॉल सो हेयर वी कै डिटरमाइन दी पावर ऑफ डिस इन्फेक्टेंट इन रिलेशन टू द फिनॉल फिनॉल इज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एज इन हैड एंड इट हैज़ अ बैक्टीरियसाइडल एंड जर्मिसाइडल इफेक्ट देफ इट इज़ यूज एज अ स्टैंडर्ड एंड फिनॉल इज अ गुड डिस इन्फेक्टेंट नाउ हेयर वी नीड टू नो वॉट इज डिस इन्फेक्शन और डिस इन्फेक्टेंट डिस डिस इन्फेक्टेंट इज अ केमिकल दैट कैन रिड्यूज द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म बट इट कैन नॉट किल द स्पोर्स ऑफ बैक्टीरिया ओके so this phenol contains the aromatic and carboxylic compound and as a disinfectant phenol can disrupt the membrane and can uh, denatures the protein now the so here in the procedure we see a set of 20 test tubes each for phenol and for disinfectant total of 40 test tubes are prepared that is sterilized in hot air oven uh, in hot air oven uh, it is sterilized by dry heat okay um and additionally three test tubes contain as a control are prepared now first the disinfectant tubes are taken and the culture of um, salmonella typhi is uh, taken and from the culture we will uh, inoculate all these four uh, test tubes and we will make a dilution that is 1 is to 100 ratio 1 is is the part of uh, culture and 100 is for water and 0.2 ml of this culture is inoculated and this is marked as a 0 minute after 2.5 minute interval we will um, take from uh, from this to this from this to this one from this to this one like this and uh, which contain the 5 ml of nutrient broth and now after 5 minute of interval we will transfer this uh, sample to the this uh, test tube from this sample to this test tube like this we will perform up to 7 minute of uh, 5 ml nutrient broth we will transfer it and to prepare positive control we will uh, take 5 ml of nutrient broth and uh, 0.2 ml of uh, salmonella typhi and for the negative control we take 5 ml of nutrient broth plus 0.2 uh, of um, formaldehyde okay formaldehyde is taken to control the excessive growth of microorganism now this same uh, practical uh, procedure is followed for the phenol test tubes okay after that all the test tubes are incubated for 4 hours then we will add formalin to uh, restrict the excessive growth of the microorganism to each tube except dilution then uh, in the result we will observe uh, turbidity or clear if if the test tubes are clear it means no growth of microorganism if there is turbidity it means uh, microorganism are growing then we will calculate this phenol uh, coefficient of the test disinfectant solution with this formula that is riedel walker uh, coefficient and the formula is that we will take the lower concentration of uh, disinfectant showing the growth of after 5 minutes by dividing dividing by lowest concentration of phenol showing the growth of growth after 5 minutes so for example uh, if uh, the phenol is uh, showing 1 by 90 and disinfectant uh, solution showing 1 by 450 we will take the reciprocal of it okay and uh, the answer is coming 5 so uh, this 5 is greater than 1 uh, it means that the test disinfectant solution is more effective and powerful than the phenol so here we see if the value is uh, greater than 1 then the test disinfectant is much more powerful than the phenol and if it is less than 1 it means the disinfectant is less effective than the phenol and if the value is equals to the 1 it means the test disinfectant solution is equals to the phenol